student learning outcomes. By the end of this lesson, you should be able to find the slope of a line given its equation. In this example, we are given the equation 3x plus 2y equals 9 and asked to find the slope and the y-intercept. Now we are given this equation in standard form. Recall that you should not read the slope and y-intercept when the line is in standard form. You need to rewrite the line into slope intercept form. Now I said should because some students are able to um, sort of do the work in their minds of rewriting the equation and are able to determine it uh, without rewriting it. But for most students, it's very important that you go ahead and do that process of rewriting it so that you can not only see the process, but uh, that you can ensure that you have uh, the accurate value for the slope. So let's go ahead and rewrite it in slope intercept form. And all that means is to solve for y. So the first step to solving for y uh, is to subtract 3x from each side. Uh, once we do so, it's going to look like so. Last step to solving for y is to divide by 2. Whatever you do to one side, you must also do to all the members on the other side. Once we divide everybody by 2, we need to then simplify that line. And so once we simplify it, our line is y equals negative 3 half x plus 9 over 2. And now we have our line in slope intercept form. When it's in this form, uh, whatever is in front of x is your slope. Now, it doesn't include x. It's just whatever is in front of x. In this case, it's negative 3 halves. So that is my slope. Uh, and whatever is in the back, the numerical value here is 9 halves. That is your y-intercept to write it as an ordered pair. You will always write it with a zero in x's place and that value in y's place. So then our y-intercept then is 0, 9 over 2. And there you have it. We have found the slope and y-intercept of the line given. In this example, we're asked to find the slope of a line when given the equation. Our equation here is x plus 4 equals 0. Notice here that we do not have a y. Whenever you have only one of the variables, uh, that's an indication that it is either going to be a vertical or a horizontal line. Uh, remember, if you have just x only, that is going to be uh, a vertical line passing through the x-axis. Now, the first step, step toward determining what the slope is, is you need to uh, isolate the variable by itself and put the number on the other side. So to do that, all I need to do is to simply subtract 4 from each side to solve for x, and x would equal negative 4. So that means that would be a line passing through the x-axis at negative 4, which is a vertical line. And recall that all vertical lines have a slope uh, that is undefined. So therefore, the slope of the line x plus 4 equals 0. Uh, the slope m equals undefined. That is your answer the words undefined. In this next example, we're asked to find the slope of the line y equals negative 2. So here, uh, this line is, it doesn't, notice it doesn't have an x. So when it just have a y only, that means that's going to be a line passing through the y-axis, which means it's going to be a horizontal line, and it's passing at negative 2. 
recall the slope of all horizontal lines uh, have a zero slope and the reason for that is because you have a constant line that indicates there's no change recall slope is all about change so then the slope of the line y equals negative 2 would be m equals 0 because that equation of a line has a slope of 0 because it is a horizontal line.